uh, you know, how fitting it was that you did that right back in January, Robin. Uh, Robin Niblett, by the way, who is, uh, who is uh, with the think tank, or the number one think tank, I, I believe, outside the United States. So uh, certainly, uh, you know, very timely to have you here. So uh, how timely was it you moderated this debate? And you've got this, uh, you know, on the day when we've got the first, uh, you know, this new prime minister, David Cameron, uh, and some would point out, look, if we're going to see more political instability, not only here in the UK, but around the Eurozone region, how is that going to get the governments to really rein in their fiscal problems? I think each of the governments have acquired perhaps a certain amount of legitimacy and political breathing space through the deal that they come up with, with last weekend. Let's take a look at the UK first. Interestingly enough, with this coalition, we may end up with more fiscal discipline than we would have had without it. Potential raise in capital gains tax could bring in a lot of new money. The, the big inheritance tax that the Conservatives are going to offer is now off the table. In a way, we've ended up with some of the tax rises potentially coming through and not some of the tax breaks. More broadly, through the Eurozone space, I think these governments have acquired some legitimacy, some strength by standing together, by providing this long-term perspective of, of financial backup. And some of the weakness that you might have associated Right. Um, you know, with a, with a Sarkozy or a Merkel going into this, they may in the end say, look, we have to act together. We're going to be watched by our neighbors. Peer review is going to have a real impact on us here. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll have to toe the line. But, Robert, are you in the camp, though, that we may see, let's say, a few years of sluggishness back here in Europe because of that? Oh, I think there's, there's no doubt that in terms of overall growth, if Europe's going to be stronger in the long term, it's going to have to go through a really painful period in the near term. I think the rescue package is great, pumps money in, which gives them breathing space, as you say, but the fiscal issue of really aggressive fiscal tightening, that could really strangle the recovery. That clearly is a big concern, isn't it? I mean, how big a concern is that if you return the panel with the same guest today? Four months on. Uh, uh, the fiscal tightening has to be done because otherwise the markets are not going to believe it. Let's remember this 440 billion euros has not been pumped in yet. It's there to be pumped in. Right. Everyone's hoping it could it, be one step forward, two steps back. Well, I think it, it was hoping it won't be pumped in um, because if it has to be it pumped, will in, not be pumped in, absolutely. Because most of these governments are already carrying huge debt. They then they're going to have to realise and monetize some of this debt in in real terms. So they are relying on some near-term pain, some near-term sluggishness on growth. But otherwise the markets are going to completely punish these governments, they won't be able to, I think, to stand uh, if they don't take some real structural reform in the near term. What's wrong, Robin, with keeping or kicking out some of these Eurozone countries? What's wrong with that? In the end, this is partly political. If, if you kick out, hey, who kicks out? Um, but if a Greece were to leave, it would be it would be disastrous, I think, economically for the near term. Its ability to borrow, uh, it could, you could end up with a basket case country on the side. And Greece need not be that. Mm. Um, those wealthier countries may be thinking, hold on, this is getting expensive, uh, like a Germany, are tied in partly politically. A Germany outside the Eurozone is not politically feasible within the European Union. No one could afford in a way to have a Germany that was that strong with its own single currency, a unified Germany. So the, the strongest are tied in politically. The weakest don't want to leave. People have got to make it work. Okay.